I don't want to sit here and paint the picture that like, oh my God, like I think about what it would be like to do oral sex and to have sex and stuff. No, I, I don't, I don't want to facade as that. I, I, I want her to be clean and what she is, a kid. Like, kids don't go around with sexual fantasies in their head of, of like things that an adult would have. So, and he just says, okay. So he's being very careful, very, very careful and cautious. And Jim, if you get to see this, it's me that's going to be coming to meet you, not a child. So hopefully you see this someday. Remember my face, because this is the face that's going to meet you. And now I'm actually gonna shut it down because. All right, I'm gonna head to bed now. I have to get up early tomorrow, and I guess you do too. It was nice to chat with you. I'll talk to you another time. Good night. I don't wanna sit here and say let's chat tomorrow can't wait to talk excuse me i want it to be like leave the ball in his court to start the conversation again without me asking because i don't want to like i don't want to sit here and say like directly start the next conversation tomorrow without like with uh like indirectly starting it I want him to message me back and then I'll ignore him and then I'll let him send like five or six messages, ten messages, and then I'll I'll respond back to him. Mm -hmm. Like all night he's gonna be thinking about this and, and this is this fantasy is gonna finally come true for him. But it's interesting so you look at like days ahead, right? You're thinking of the whole trajectory of like this guy, what he's going to think after he gets off. Well, the thing Tomorrow. too is, I this is hard for some people to be, uh, to uh, not believe, but um, understand. I have to become their best friend, and it, it's literally a mind fuck. That's why a lot of people can't do this. It's a mind fuck because you have to become their best friend. I know every guy that I've met, and like most that I've just chatted with, I know all their favorite colors, their favorite food. You got to ask these questions to make them comfortable. It totally offsets conversation to take them to that place where they feel comfortable and then they will admit their fantasies and, and all these things. Um, if you don't, then they'll think you're just a cop because the cop will just sit there and just get the information they need and that's it. I mean, I'm their best friend. I'm the one that they can trust. You can confide in me. You can tell me that this is your sexual fantasy to have sex with children. And then until the day that you get to meet me, with my ass on the fucking hood of your car. And have any of them tried to, like, actually fight, or...? The most that I've really seen um, would be stepping to me, um, raising their voice, things like that, like, to, to try to, like, seem powerful. Right. But then I'll yell twice as loud. I will step in their face, or... I'll reiterate to them, you know, step back, get away from me. We're having a conversation, um, and then that normally works. I mean, for the most part, it, it's never really escalated into to anything. I mean, except for, like, on the news, for instance, I was on the guy's car, and he kept yelling out that he's going to drive on the highway, and he's going to kill me, and, and all this and all that. But it was just out of fear that he was saying all that because he wanted me to get off the car so he'd get away from the situation as quick as possible. I mean, that guy, like... I can't understand this. Like, I, most of the guys I talk to, they'll either sometimes lie about their vehicles and having homes and stuff like that, but a lot of them are bosses. Like, the guy on the news, he drove, um, I don't know how much the car cost him, I mean, maybe like fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, $20,000, something like that, but it was like brand new 2015 um, Audi, like tricked out and everything, nice. He had his own company, he, he has all this money, he could have a woman his own age, like a beautiful woman, like, why a kid? Because it's something that he can't have and something that he wants. 
And it's just like a lot of these other guys. Mm -hmm. I understand a lot of things in life. Probably like how people think and feel and stuff, but this is one thing I just don't fucking understand. Like, I can't wrap my head around it, how how this can be fun, how this can be exciting. I mean, same thing as, like, strippers and prostitutes and all that stuff, too. I mean, fuck, relationships are ruined for me. Like, it's, like, nearly impossible to connect. But when you say the whole thing about relationships are ruined, is it because they see you doing this and, like, you're just distracted all the time? Or is it because you're associating, like sexuality with what's happening here the way that i see it is um sometimes like my mind is not directly on like the last chat or the last person i met or or whatever it's just i'm just so disgusted and i just i'm not i don't feel sexually active and i don't feel emotionally enabled to to be able to to have that connection like i don't i'd rather just be by myself kind of thing so it's like, I really like the person, but I just, I can't, I just can't. It's just, it's like broken. It's numb. It's just like, I'm like, it's kind of like dead inside sometimes. But then I have like the moments too, though, like, you know, where I'm like fully capable and I'm all there and I totally forget about everything else that I'm doing with this. And it's like, we could go to the park, you know, dogs and, and, and the fair or whatever, right. And go shopping and stuff. And, and that's like a vacation for me. That's like, I get that moment of where I can be me again. But for the most part, it's just, my mind is trapped with this. Mm -hmm. Which is fine because I would rather me, like one person deal with the hell, opposed to, you know, one other, like one kid or, or hundreds of kids to have to go through this. I mean, I'm on every site you can imagine. Lesbian, gay, straight, you name it, I'm on it. I mean, this is the thing that I'm starting to realize too, that like people that are seeing the videos, I guess assume that I'm in one area. I'm only in Mississauga, I'm only in Toronto, I'm only here, I'm only there. Right. When we're expanding now, I mean, there's people in Calgary that are doing this. There's people all over, so it's like, eventually, hopefully they realize that, you know, check into a hospital, get help. It's that easy. I mean, it's embarrassing, yeah, but I mean, nobody's really going to find out if you just go to the hospital, you, you, you tell the nurse or whatever that you need help. You need to talk to somebody. And from my understanding, the only way out of this is abstinence from sex. Um, people have actually suggested castration because I guess it takes away from the, mm -hmm. the, the sexual... Right arousal yeah. part um, but I mean none of them have actually said you know what I need help mm. do you know where I can get some never I've suggested it a few times in video um, you know like why haven't you gone to the hospital or, or this or that no this is my first time they say I've never done this before my first time it's your first time like how are you that brave you know how are you that brazen how are you going to go and get out of your car, walk over to a building with nobody standing there and wait for me and look calm and comfortable? That's because it's something that you've always wanted to do and you're that excited or something you've done numerous times before. Yeah. See, the other scary thing is like, who knows how long it's been like brewing inside them, you know, that thought. Well, that's why like... For years. When we talked to earlier, I said, um... That's why, like, most people think that the person that's doing this is, like, the creepy old man. Well, it's because for the longest time, from my own point of view, my own belief is that, yeah, it's been brewing in their mind to be sexually active with with a child. Um, and then basically it's just like, fuck it. I mean, they I got nothing to lose, I guess, at that point. I mean, they're old, right? So they, they think that... I think fucking I don't fucking know. I just wish that 
we lived in a world where it wasn't like this. You know, like, there's not hookers at street corners. You know, there's not drugs being sold in front of schools or down the street or, or kids being pressured into smoking. Um, and, and kids are not getting lured and groomed by adults that are supposed to be there as, as people that are supposed to protect us. Like, when I was a kid growing up, we had block parents and stuff. We always used to think too, like if, if we're getting followed by like kids from school, we're gonna get in a fight. Like we go to the block parents' house, knock on the door, we go in, call our parents, and they come pick us up. It is not like that anymore because that person, you could go into their house, they could have that block parent up because they're facading to the neighborhood as a normal person. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you don't know what, what's going on behind closed doors. Like people have like the weirdest thoughts and fantasies. And I mean, some are condoned by society because, I mean, as an adult, you're allowed to reenact um, certain things and, and it's condoned, but then there's people that take it to the extreme, which is like necrophiliac, um, child abuse and, and stuff like that and, and bestiality. Um, oh, fuck. I don't even fucking know. Fuck, man. Like, these people are, like, fucked. Like, it's just... There's no end to it, too, because they'll tell me that they know about me or somebody like me. Or they'll talk about, like, Dateline NBC that used to be on. And it's like... You saw the videos, they don't even ask for a phone conversation. It's pure text. So, why the fuck are you gonna go meet somebody like. I mean, I'm glad that they are meeting somebody that is like me, but at the same time, it's like, how the fuck are you that brazen and bold to go out and do this? Yeah. And, and I'm very thankful that there's people like you out there that that are willing to film stuff like this because it's very important that this message gets out there because you can you can talk about this to people and it gets in their mind that they will, you know, as a guardian or as a parent or as a brother, mother, sister, aunt, uncle, whatever, will will protect kids and stuff like that. But a lot of people are more visual. They need to see um, what's going on and stuff like that. Like. Right. Somebody like me sitting in a parking lot until like two, three o'clock in the morning and then getting up and going to work like two hours later, um, spending 16 hours a day on chats just to meet one person sometimes. Um, people need to see that. Mm -hmm. For sure. But. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, I should probably fucking get going. Yeah, man. Fuck that.